Jay Billis is kind of the face of college basketball in the United States. And Jay Billis works for ESPN, and he has been a personal friend and mentor of mine for over a decade. Jay was kind enough to write the foreword to my book. And on ESPN game day, part of Jay's responsibility is before he calls a game, he has to watch both teams practice the day before the game. So that the, during the next day, he has plenty of stuff to talk about on air. Because when you're on air in front of the, the bright lights and the cameras, they can't afford any dead time. You have to have something to say at all times. So he needs to know everything about their team, about their personnel, about their strategy. Well, back in 2010, in early December, there was a very highly anticipated NCAA college basketball game that was going to pit Duke versus Butler. And the reason this game was so highly anticipated were those were the two teams that met eight months previously in the national championship game, where Duke narrowly escaped with a, a very close win. And it's very rare in college basketball in the U.S. that the two teams that meet on the biggest stage meet eight months later in an early season game. So there was a lot of hype around this game. Well, Jay is actually a Duke alum. So he went to watch Duke practice first. And he goes over to watch Duke. And Duke is led by the winningest coach in the history of college basketball, Coach K. One of the best to ever do it. And he hears Coach K talking to his team. And he says, guys, we're going to win tomorrow because we have a distinct advantage. We are bigger, stronger, and more powerful than they are. We are going to beat Butler tomorrow because we clearly have the advantage. We are bigger, we are stronger, and we're more powerful. We're going to pound the ball down low and get easy shots around the basket. We're going to out-rebound them, and we're going to challenge all of their shots. Guys, we're going to win tomorrow because we have the advantage. We are bigger, stronger, and more powerful. And Jay left that practice and was thinking, this could be a bloodbath tomorrow. One of the best coaches to ever blow a whistle just clearly told his team why they have the advantage. But he needs to do his due diligence, so he goes over to watch the Butler practice, who at the time was led by Brad Stevens. Brad Stevens is now the head coach of the Boston Celtics, and he is an absolute basketball savant, one of the best young coaches that I've ever met. And Coach Stevens is talking to the Butler team and said, guys, we're going to win tomorrow because we have the distinct advantage. We are smaller, quicker, and faster than they are. We are going to win tomorrow because we have a clear advantage. We are smaller, quicker, and faster. Their big guys won't be able to keep up with us. We'll get easy points in transition. We'll be able to put on a smothering full court press, and there's no way those big guys can get out and challenge our corner threes. Don't worry, guys. We're going to win tomorrow because we have the clear advantage. And Jay left that practice and was thinking, I got no idea who's going to win this game. Both of these brilliant coaches have the self-awareness, the team awareness to know what it is that gives them a distinct advantage, to know what it is that makes them unique and gives them a competitive edge, and to know what they need to do in order to be successful. And here's the cool part. They both were 100% right. And I tell you that for a couple of reasons. One, I certainly want to make sure that you're internally looking at your businesses and you're, you're constantly recalibrating and having the awareness to know what gives you the competitive advantage. What, did it, what is it that separates you? Because one thing I can promise you, <clears throat> excuse me, there's a lot of things in business that people can copy. They can copy floor plans, they can copy layouts, they can copy logos and color schemes, they can copy pricing, they can copy your org chart. There's one thing I promise you they cannot copy. That's you all. They can't copy you. They can't copy the relationships that you create. And they definitely cannot copy your culture. Those things cannot be replicated. So any investment you make into improving those relationships, those three that I talked about, is a very wise investment because it's something that will extend your lead and be a competitive advantage because people cannot copy you the relationships you forge, and the culture that you create. It's one of the best investments that you can make. It's Hayward pulling it down, getting around Zubak. At midcourt, launches the shot. Oh, and almost went in! Almost went in, and Duke is the king of the dance.